Barely a few hours after seven cars and six motorcycles were gutted due to a fuel laden tanker, which somersaulted, spilled its content, and went up in flames on the IBB Boulevard, Kuto Abekuta Vehicle State Capital, the government has banned such tankers or other articulated trucks from plying any of its flyovers across the state. The governor, Prince Dakwabi Odu, made the pronouncement when he visited the scene of the accident which occurred this Tuesday. By way of this pronouncement this afternoon, tankers are not allowed on our overhead bridges anymore. And we will put in place a very steep fine for any tanker driver that is caught on any of these bridges. While sympathizing with the families of those involved, the governor said three fatalities were recorded while six others who sustained varying degrees of injuries were receiving treatment at the state hospital HIA and the federal medical center Idiaba. The governor also hinted that burn specialists have been invited and are currently attending to the victims and will be transferred if necessary. The burn specialists have since arrived at the hospital. They will make a determination if there will be a need to transport these victims that are first degree burns to a burn center in Lagos. A survival and eyewitness to Tripod TV that a tanker was descending the flyover around 8 a.m., lost control and crossed to the other lane, causing an explosion near a GTB branch in the area. I'm following this line. Okay. So my intention is to go to Kuto. And my intention is that I want to branch and follow the, the lower route so that I can cross under the bridge. My, my intention is to cross, to just cross the road median. The lower land is deep. So but to land is deep. But to cross the road median, I will to So when you know I love the Shubu. So I just left my Okada. But I don't know how I am. Because the, the fire pursued me to that tree. I'm seeing that fire following me. Can you see the approach of the, the truck and my Okada? It took the intervention of the fire service, Trace Call, FRC, NSCDC, and the police to put out the fire. The tanker first ran into this Lexus, but the occupants came out on hearts. This other car owner, on sight in the fire, abandoned our vehicle at the entrance of the bank and ran away. The woman who took advantage of the governor's timely visit pleaded for support and assistance of the state government. <laughs> The governor later visited the victims of the fire incident at the state hospital and the federal medical center, by promising government urgent care and attention. Dari Adidotson reporting for Tripod TV.